Hi everyone, my name is Chelsea Krafka and today we're going to be doing a story and meditation about different changes that are coming up in our lives. So we're going to start with a story and it is from the book Zen Shorts and it's just one of the many stories that are in here. So it starts kind of in the middle of the book. And we begin with Michael went to see Stillwater. Stillwater is the panda bear up in the tree. Here I am, Stillwater called from the tree. Can I come up? asked Michael. If you're careful, said Stillwater. What if we could fly? said Michael. We could cast shadows on clouds, said Stillwater. But what if we fell? said Michael. If we fell, we might break something, said Stillwater. That would be bad, said Michael. Maybe, said Stillwater. Maybe, asked Michael. And that begins this story called The Farmer's Luck. There was once an old farmer who had worked his crops for many years. One day his horse ran away. Upon hearing the news, his neighbors came to visit. Such bad luck, they said sympathetically. Maybe, the farmer replied. The next morning, the horse returned, bringing with it two other wild horses. Such good luck, the neighbors exclaimed. Maybe, replied the farmer. The following day, his son tried to ride one of the untamed horses and was thrown off and broke his leg. Again, the neighbors came to offer their sympathy on his misfortune. Such bad luck, they said. Maybe, answered the farmer. The day after that, military officials came to the village to draft young men into the army to fight in a war. Seeing that the son's leg was broken, they passed him by. Such good luck, cried the neighbors. Maybe, said the farmer. I get it, said Michael. Maybe good luck and bad luck are all mixed up. You never know what will happen next. Yes, said Stillwater. He agreed. You never know. So kind of like your school year, right? You never know what's going to happen. You might have one idea in your head and things might change. We just never know what's going to happen. So here are the questions for your story today. In the story, what happened to the farmer that looked like a good thing, but then turned out to be a problem? And how about the opposite? Things that looked like they could be bad, but turned out to be good. What does this tell us about interpreting what happens to us? So now let's get ready for our meditation. And we're gonna listen to our singing bowl. And when the sound goes away, that's when we'll begin. So find a comfortable spot to sit or lay down. And we'll get started. Close your eyes and take in a nice deep breath. Let your body get comfortable. Sink down until you begin to feel warm and cozy inside, no matter how it feels outside. Imagine yourself curled up in front of a nice warm fireplace. You watch as the flames flicker yellow and red the golden yellow flame seems to relax you even further as you enjoy the warmth of the golden glowing fire. As you lay here enjoying this moment of relaxation, you start thinking about the summer and all the wonderful times that you've had. There might have been moments that made you happy, many moments that have made you smile and feel grateful. It's been a good summer. You've grown on the outside and on the inside too. You're smarter and wiser. 
You know yourself better and you're getting to know your personal gifts more and more. As you think about the new school year ahead, you know it will bring a brand new start. Now is the time to think about all the amazing things you want to accomplish. Remember, you can achieve what you want by focusing, believing, working hard, and using your imagination. So start to imagine all the wonderful things you'd like to do this coming year. Maybe you want to get better at something you enjoy doing or perhaps learn a new skill. Maybe you want to spend more time helping others. Whatever you decide to do, it will be a wonderful goal to work towards each and every day. Always remember to have faith in yourself and in your ability to accomplish your dreams. By using your heart and your mind together, you can create a fantastic year filled with joy, happiness, and fun. Now take in a deep breath and imagine yourself at the end of next year having accomplished all these wonderful things you've been thinking about. Really take the time to see it in your mind. Doesn't it feel wonderful? Picture yourself as having succeeded and hold on tightly to that image in your mind and heart. Now allow peacefulness and happiness to fill up your entire body going into each and every cell. When you're ready, you can open your eyes and give your body a great big stretch and be ready to live your dream. So let's listen to our bell. Ready? And that's the end of our time together today. Thank you so much for joining me.